Hi, uh, my name is Dan, and uh, I'd like to talk to you about my uh, Pelican uh, Bass Raider 10E and my uh, Ultra Toe um, trailer. Uh, and this is about modifications to um, boats and uh, trailers. There are plenty of videos out there on this particular topic, but I'd like to show you some of the mods that uh, we made on, on our boat. So, to begin with, one of the first things we did is that we added um, this long board, 10 foot long board. And you see here, there's two flanges at the end. And we added a, um, in order to get that there, we added a 2 by 4 uh, at the end of the trailer. And those flanges fit in that space between the um, addition and the trailer. And um, the board itself is stored underneath um, and between the pontoons and underneath the boat when I'm done. So we just push it up and it goes underneath and you'll see it goes into, goes into that space uh, right there. Um, we also added some carpeting then you can see it right there and um, we got carpeting on either side of the pontoon so that when the boat comes up onto the trailer it slides uh, very easily into position. One of the things we did in order to help charge the uh, battery is that we um, uh, created or created manufactured this uh, metal piece and the metal piece is designed and you can see the uh, clip for the uh, battery charger so I don't have to take the, the, the battery out of the case and um, it's fairly easy to charge. And this is the charger here. It's a shoe marker. And when the boat's left outside with an extension cord and so forth, I'll be able to take care of the charging of the battery at the end of a, a day's fishing. Now we've done some other things as well. Um, we added this um, railing uh, to the side of the trailer the trailer itself is 50 inches wide and the boat is 50 inches wide but the 50 inches includes this portion of it here and the the pontoons are underneath so uh, it's less than 50 inches uh, when you add the railing and we put on the inside of the railing um, some more of that indoor outdoor carpeting and uh, it just helps the boat us uh, uh, prevent it from being scratched um, another modification that we did is right here. Um, I have a uh, Garmin fish finder, and the Garmin fish finder is uh, obviously used to uh, find depth and water temperature and hopefully find some fish. But we put it on the side of the boat, and most people put it over here on uh, the propeller uh, portion. And I was concerned about the backwash and so forth, and I didn't want it to interfere with the transducer. So over here, sorry for moving around so much, but down here, you'll see the transducer, which is right here. And uh, when I go in the water, all I have to do is um, this, when it travels, it's traveling in the up position, turn the handle, and... Uh, it uh, comes up or it comes down, whatever I want to do. And then this, uh, the, the, this is fixed to the, uh, this sliding area right here, and it holds the, uh, the Garmin in place. Uh, Garmin comes with a small battery, as you're probably aware, and it's hooked right here. Um, the other thing we added was a uh, product from um, Canyon lake products and it's called the troll king and the troll king is designed to operate the boat hands-free because it has this rod and it goes out and it actually attaches um it actually attaches uh, to the um post of the uh, of the shaft of the um uh, uh, uh and you can see that it attaches uh, right here. I won't go into it, but it uh, it, it really works uh, wonderfully. Uh, and, uh, and again, it's that hands-free. 
And all you have to do to operate this is to press, whoops, press on the on the pedal, and it turns the boat whatever uh, right, left, 180 degrees. In fact, uh, so I highly recommend uh, that you get that. Easy to assemble, was easy to put together. I have to walk around this. Uh, okay, now another thing that maybe you don't know about is the um, a fellow did a uh, a video and he talked about that he lost his uh, tackle gear and uh, he lost one of them, dropped into about 20 feet of water. So what I did in order to prevent that from happening, I just got some double-faced um, Velcro and all I have to do is pull that loose, pull that loose and um, it secures it here, it secure it here as well. Um, what else should I tell you? Oh, uh, the seat itself uh, is a little bit hard, to, it's plastic, a little bit hard to sit on. So I got this cushion and back seat and it works really well. I'm really pleased with it. I've been in it a couple of times. Uh, all in all, I've just never been in the water yet, but uh, uh, warmer days are coming. I'm, I'm from Connecticut and We've had a, a, a really long cold spell, but that works really well, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, one thing, I ran into a, a ranger, and he suggested that you can see, see this pole, that when I take the uh, boat off the trailer, and the boat's in the water, and I go to back up my trailer, I can't see my trailer from my boat. So the addition of these... Um, poles allow me to follow, I, at least I know where my trailer is, and I can back up my trailer fairly easily. It was an easy fix, and only a couple bucks uh, in order to do that. Another type of modification that you may not have seen is um, this piece right here came from some plumbing supply uh, at uh, Walmart, and what you do is um, Excuse me for walking around. Um, what you do is you just take your pole, and uh, if, you, if you need to, uh, you just put it into here, and uh, it pull the it's secure, not going to go anywhere, and it's put together with I don't know if you can see it here, put together with a clamp and um, a zip tie, and it holds everything together. Um, another thing I suggest that you might want to do is get in the state of Connecticut, we have a boater's guide, and the boater's guide tells me all of the bodies of water, where the um, boat launches are, and what type, if it's a state uh, boat launch or just a handmade one. And uh, within a 40-mile radius, I've, I've checked out uh, places that I want to go. Then I went online to the state uh, Department of, uh, uh, of Environmental Protection, and they have these depth charts which are available to anyone, and particularly for spring fishing because the uh, fish haven't <clears throat> started to move yet and uh, have hopefully to get a, a reaction strike uh, in the deeper water because that's where the bass are this time of year. Um, what else? Oh, one more thing, and that is um, I got this uh, trailer dolly at Harbor Freight, $50.00 but well worth it because <clears throat> I have to manage the boat to get into this, uh, into my garage, and it's hard to do with uh, me just backing up the trailer, but utilizing the dolly, it works really quite well. One of the things we did is we added um, this angle piece to the, uh, to the trailer, and what it does is it keeps the dolly handle from being, from being very low. And also, I can walk right up to it and start to move it right away. One thing I do suggest that you get, if you haven't gotten it already, is uh, you'll notice there's a chuck right here. And uh, get a chuck because you don't want your boat and trailer uh, going down the road without you in it or nearby. And you don't want to have a getter and run away and get away from you. <clears throat> so that's about it um, for the types of mods that we put in. 
I don't. Um, I won't get into it because there are plenty of other uh, good videos out there on modifications, and hopefully you have found this one of some interest to you. Um, tight lines to you all. Uh, I hope you have a uh, uh, a good season, as I'm looking forward to this season as well. You guys be good. Take care.